Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So um, find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. Now, some of you might put up this argument where you say that um, if n heads towards infinity, then this whole thing here will head towards 1, then this whole thing here will head towards 1, and then 1 to the power of n, 1, 1 to the power of n is going to be 1. So some of you might put up that argument and say, oh, the limit is 1. But it doesn't work like that. It's, it's not true. It doesn't work like that. So if, if you look at this sequence generator, it will generate this this sequence. When n is 1, it will generate this. When n is 2, it will generate this, and so on. So if you look at this here, this here is 1 over 2. So, so you're going to have to get 1 over 2 to the power of, to the power of, to the power of 2. And then, and then if, if you look at this here, it's 2 over 3. And then you're going to have to get 2 over 3 to the power of 3. And then this one here, 3 over 4, 3 over 4 to the power of 4, and so on. So if you, if you follow this, uh, this routine, by the time you get to, let's say, 36 over 37, to the power of 37, it, it gives you, you see, when, when you get near zero, um, it, it becomes very sensitive. This doesn't actually become 1 to the power of, uh, of 37. It becomes very sensitive around here. So, so you can't really say, you can't really say, you can't really jump to 1 and then 1 to the power of n because it gets very sensitive around here. If you, you're going to have to do something cunning in order to, um, to, to evaluate this as n tends to infinity, you can't just say, "Oh, it heads toward one to the power of, uh, to the power of a very very large number." You can't just immediately jump to one and then, because it gets when when it gets around here, it gets very very sensitive around here. So um, it, this thing here jumps to a weird number. It's not one to the power of thirty seven. Um, it, it's very sensitive around here, so you can't just jump to one. Well, anyway, do something cunning in order to evaluate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so the trick here is to um, to uh, the trick here is to break this up into two fractions. So you've got one fraction here, and then one fraction here, and then you've got your your minus here. You've got your minus here, and then n n over n is really one. So basically, it's you trying to rewrite this thing into this form here. Now, once it's in this form, you should ingrain this in your mind. I, I, I've asked you many times to to ingrain this in your mind. Um, so, so this here, you should recognize that it becomes uh, the limit of this will be e to the power of negative, and then whatever this number is. So, so, so the the limit here is actually e to the power of negative one. Okay.